time has come for all of us to understand that the current model of delivering healthcare is not the right model. If a solution is not affordable, it is not a solution. It's pointless talking about all the developments in healthcare if a common man cannot afford it. The day is finally here. Only a remarkably short 12 months after the first block was laid, now look behind me. We have a magnificent building, a facility that isn't just visually appeasing, sustainable, or technically proficient. What actually stands behind me and in front of you isn't simply a building, isn't brick and mortar, but is rather the future. This initiative is one of those types of partnerships. It demonstrates clearly and in a most powerful manner what can be done. The city came in islands adds another dimension to the island's recuperative powers. Visitors will now witness tertiary care healing in action in and through this remarkable facility. We plan to create the most sustainable development in the Cayman Islands, and I would venture to say in the region. Our intention is building a hospital of the future. A hospital which will not be compared with the best hospitals of UK or Europe. It will be considered as the best hospital in the planet which will lay the standards for all the other hospitals to follow. This occasion today, I believe, is one of those transformative moments for Cayman that those who come after us will look back upon and say, that's what changed the course of Cayman. None of you are aware that everything what you have done for this institution to come up is going to be the textbook for other countries to follow. We had over 2,000 children from Cayman Island visiting our hospital and I was very pleased to know that over 300 of them expressed their desire to take up medical profession. In the future, when you Google for the best heart hospital in the world, it will be the health city at Cayman Island.